subscribe this channel by pressing this button for being updated from biomedical and healthcare society Hello guys welcoming you all in another episode of Hiki Tech updates I am Amit and you are watching Techomat so without any further delay let's get started So the very first update is about the accurate glucose monitor which has been integrated inside a smartphone case. We have seen the smartphones have been gaining all kinds of features such as GPS, barometry and depth perceptions. Diabetes are probably wondering why glucometers are still stand alone devices. Well, this may be changing too as researchers at University of California San Diego has developed a glucose meter that spilled into a smartphone case and that may one day become an actual part of production phone the another update is about the 3d printing which is helping us to implant risky trash catheter metal walls trash catheter aortic wall implantation are now routine at number of high end hospitals around the world invasive metal wall replacement on the other hand are a lot more difficult and prone to post op complications and so are still a rarity yet 60% of the patients over 75 have mitral wall disease and it's an even bigger problem than aortic valves the another update is about a novel transforming hydrogel treats emergency battlefield eye injuries according to statistics VAR related eye injuries have rates steadily increased from a fraction of a percent to as a high as 10 to 15 percent in last few decades. Many of these injuries lead to permanent vision loss due to a lack of nearby medical facilities or proper tool or treat them. Researchers have developed an advanced material that medicines and rapidly deploy and that is customized for numerous types of ocular trauma additionally the researchers developed a special portable syringe for this hydrogel the syringe has a cooling chamber filled with calcium ammonium nitrate crystal the hope is that the special hydrogel cooling syringe combo will be used on the battlefields as well as rural areas and mass casualty situation the another update is about the new eeg system which achieves higher signal resolution ever before scientists have developed a new eeg system capable of recording brain signals at an unprecedented spatial resolution this is so called super nicus density eeg was compared to four different conventional nicus density eeg when tried on 14 volunteers the new system was able to record a lot of more data from the visual cortex and so relieved a lot more is what going on inside the brain the results show that indeed when the brain of the volunteers were stimulated using visual signals the new eeg system was able to capture more neural information the researchers hope to better understand why this is the case while others that rely really on eeg can hopefully begin try to obtain better data in their own experiments the another update is Computer simulation aims to understand arrhythmia induced sudden cardiac death. Sudden cardiac death resulting from an arrhythmia is a rare and difficult to study disorder. Now researchers at Johns Hopkins University has developed a computer model of the heart specifically mimicking what happens to it prior to the during the sudden cardiac death. The biomolecular simulation is already pointing to drug targets that should be looked at as a potential preventive measure for very serious arrhythmias that end up causing sudden cardiac death. The another update is about 3D printed living bio ink which can form living tattoos. Researchers at MIT have developed a living bio ink for 3D printing that consists of genetically modified bacteria and a synthetic hydrogel. The material can be printed in a variety of shapes including as patches or tattoos for the skin and can sense different chemicals along which with changes in pH and temperature. The researchers hope the technique could provide response materials for interactive displays and wearable sensors including medical technologies such as diagnosis and therapeutic devices. or health monitors so that's all about the weekly tech updates from biomedical and healthcare society 
If you have any query or suggestion regarding all these news and articles, you can ask me in comment section. I would love to answer your question over there. If you have not subscribed to this channel, you can do it by pressing this button. Because I used to come up with various kinds of video related to biomedical and healthcare society week. Do like this video, do share this video with others. So this is Amit Mohan Raman signing out. Jai Hind.